morning on your number one business radio Broad Street Radio for the news updates today the 12th of August 2021 the following are the headlines for the news update this morning cast 200 naira SUVs 300 naira federal government unveils new tolling policy Federal government to lift Twitter ban soon, says Lai Mohammed. Federal government denies relying on COVID-19 vaccines donations. And in business, NGS, NGX records 142 billion naira growth amid gains by Airtel and others. 20 Nigerian tailors speaked for U.S. exchange program. Federal government made 472 billion naira in three months taxing companies. This is coming from NBS. Fire destroys six shops in Ilori Plaza. And in sports, Chelsea defeats Villarreal to win UEFA Super Cup 2021. Good morning. Welcome to the news update from your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. In our association with Automatics Auto Care Limited, Ajao Estate Branch, and Dependable Securities Limited, I am Otusi James Chuku, and here are the news in full. The Federal Executive Council FEC on Wednesday approved the tolling of federal roads and bridges as part of the tolling policy and regulations that had been in the works and is now ready for implementation. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, told State House correspondents after the Cabinet meeting that the policy and accompanying regulations were developed after extensive consultations with various stakeholders within and outside the government, including transport unions like NURTW, NARTO, and RTN. He added that a willingness to pay survey was carried out to arrive at the recommended pricing framework. The fees at existing toll roads, Lagos and Abuja Airport toll plazas, and the Lekki and Ikoyi toll plazas were also taken into consideration. The federal government of Nigeria has announced its intention to lift the ban on Twitter in a matter of days. The disclosure was made on Wednesday by the Minister of Information and Culture, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, while briefing newsmen shortly after the weekly Federal Executive Council FEC meeting in Abuja. Mohammed stated that the government negotiation with the microblogging platform is at an advanced stage already, saying most of the conditions given to the platform have been accepted. He revealed that areas still pending include setting up an office and having a Twitter staff of management cadre that will serve as the country representative. The federal government has refuted reports that Nigeria is relying on donations for COVID-19 vaccines. Speaking during an interview with the News Agency of Nigeria on Wednesday, Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, said the reports are false and baseless. Mohammed noted that Nigeria is expecting a large number of batches of doses of COVID-19 vaccine brands in a few weeks which are being paid for. The minister said some of the vaccines were procured through the African Union AU which had signed a COVID-19 vaccine procurement agreement for 400 million doses for member states funded with loans from Afrex, Afrexim Bank. Also, the minister warned that, the, that Nigeria stands the risk of more COVID-19 infections if people continue to let down their guards. He warned that people are getting relaxed but the country has truly entered the third wave. 
generally, the minister observed that there will be more cases if people continue to ignore the seriousness of the situation, even as Nigeria continues to record more confirmed cases in the last few weeks. He warned that the Delta variant is more dangerous than the early variants of the virus. Mohammed noted, however, that the federal government, through the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, will continue to ensure Nigerians remain safe by giving out national directives and also making the vaccines available. Business News in Ajifi. The nation's boards extended bullish trend on Wednesday, largely driven by gains recorded by Airtel Africa and 19 others. The All Share Index increased by 271.84 points, representing a growth of 0.69% to close at 39,448.46 from 39,176.62. Um, points posted on Tuesday. Consequently, month-to-date gain increased to 2.3%, while the year-to-date year -to loss moderated to 2.0%. Similarly, the market capitalization gained 142 billion naira, or 0.69%, to close at 20.553 trillion naira against 20.411 trillion naira achieved on Tuesday. The upturn was impacted by gains recorded in medium and large capitalized stocks, among which are Eltel Africa, Northern Nigerian Floor Mills, Ecobank Transactional, Transnational Incorporated, Namet International Pharmaceuticals and Livestock Feeds. Market sentiment closed positive with 20 gainers in relative to 15 losers. Pharma Deco drove the gainers chart in percentage terms, gaining 9.17% to close at 1 naira 19 copper per share. Namet International Pharmaceuticals followed with 8.61% to close at 1 naira 64 copper, while Ikeja Hotel appreciated by 7.69% to close at 1 naira 40 copper per share. Livestock feeds rose by 6.84% to close at 2 naira 3 copper while linkage assurance appreciated by 6.78 percent to close at 63 cover per share on the other hand ftn cocoa processors led the losers chart in percentage terms by 8.89 percent to close at 41 cover per share wema bank followed with 7.32 percent to close at 76 cover while may and baker nigeria lost 6.38 percent to close at 4 naira 40 cover per share Mutual Benefits Assurance shared 5.56% to close at 34 Cobo, while Veritas Capital Assurance depreciated by 4.17% to close at 23 Cobo per share. Transactions in the shares of Transco topped the activity chart with 20.49 million shares valued at 19.34 million Naira. ETI followed with 17.54 million shares worth 97.99 million naira, while FCMB Group traded 15.31 million shares valued at 48.21 million naira. Sterling Bank sold 14.44 million shares worth 22.24 million naira, while United Bank of Africa transacted 10.94 million shares valued at 83.39 million naira. In all, the total volume of trades declined by 6.61.8% um, as investors bought and sold 181.42 um, million units, worth 2.08 billion naira in 3,599 deals. This was in contrast with 474.53 million shares valued at 3.98 billion naira exchanged in 4,161 deals on Tuesday. 
Wednesday, 11th August 2021, the exchange rate between the Naira and the US dollar closed at 411.40 and um, 411 Naira 40 cover per dollar at the official investors and experts window. Naira appreciated against the US dollar to close at 411 Naira 40 cover per dollar on Wednesday, representing a 0.02% gain when compared to the 411 Naira 50 cover a dollar that was recorded the previous day. However, the Naira depreciated at the parallel market to close at 515 Naira per dollar on Wednesday, August 11, 2021. This represents a 5 Naira loss when compared to the 510 Naira to dollar that it traded the previous day. The local currency is gradually reversing the gains it made recently at the black market due to the demand pressure in the market. Oil prices continued their rebound with Brent crude oil going up by 0.04% on Wednesday evening to trade at $71.47 per barrel as the Energy Information Administra Administration EIA lowers oil production expectations for 2022. EIA said that the U.S. crude oil production this year will average 11.1 million barrel per day and will use to um, and will rise to 11.8 million barrels per day in 2022. WTI crude was down by 0.01 percent on Wednesday evening to trade at 69.24 percent. Um, 69.24 dollar per barrel after rising earlier in the day natural gas recorded a 0.25 percent drop in price to trade at 4049 dollar body light was down by 1.28 percent to trade at 68.90 dollar per barrel Twenty Nigerian fashion designers have been selected for the International Visitors Leadership Program, an exchange project hosted by the U.S. Department of State. In a press statement released by the U.S. Consulate, Public Affairs Officer Stephen Ibeli noted that empowering Nigeria's tailors would encourage the country's economic growth and place in the fashion industry. Mr. Ibeli also knows that the project will help local fashion designers get ready for the global scene. The virtual exchange program, which began on August 9, is built to end on August 28. The three-week program will allow the selected tailors to speak with a range of U.S. fashion designers, manufacturers, and consumers. Its aim is to provide first-hand knowledge about Af American society, culture, and politics while encouraging professional relationships between both countries. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, says the federal government generated 472.07 billion naira as company income tax, CIT, in the second quarter of the year 2021 as against the 392.64 billion naira generated in the first quarter. The NBS said this on Wednesday in Abuja in its company income tax by sectors um, of quarter 2 of 2021 data published on its website. The sum that reflected an increase of 79.43 billion naira over the first quarter also reflected an increase of 70.04 billion naira over 402.03 billion naira generated in the second quarter of 2020. The NBS explained that the figure represented a 20.23% increase quarter on quarter and a 17.42% increase year on year. The Bureau added that out of the total amount generated in the previous under review, 412.74 billion naira was generated as CIT locally, while 51.61 billion naira was generated as foreign CIT payment. It added that the balance of 2.72 billion naira was generated as CIT from other payments. The data was provided by the Federal Inland Revenue Service (FIRS) verified and validated by the NBS. 
and Inferno on Wednesday got at a shopping plaza on Ilofa Road in GRA Ilori. The director of the state's fire service, Falade Olumuiwa, said that the fire began at about 1 a.m. and destroyed valuables worth millions of naira. Mr. Olumuiwa said the fire, which cost had not been ascertained, was immediately put out by men of the fire service under an hour. He said about six out of the 13 shops in the story building were destroyed by the fire. Mr. Olumuiwa urged residents to always put off all electrical gadgets whenever they were not at home or their offices. And now to sports. UEFA Champions League's Chelsea champion UEFA Champions League champion Chelsea on Wednesday night defeated Europa League winner Villarreal via penalties to win 2021 Super Cup. This year's Super Cup game was played at Windsor Park, Belfast, Northern Ireland. Moroccan midfielder Hakim Ziyech gave the Blues an early lead in the 27th minute and then the first half with Chelsea leading Villarreal by a long goal. But the Spanish side leveled up in the 73rd minute as Gerard Moreno fired in an equalizer that extended the game into the extra time. Extra time ended with both clubs not being able to find the back of the net. However, Thomas Tuchel's side edged out Villarreal via penalty shootout. Kepa as Ariza Balaga, who came in to replace Udrag Mendy in the extra time, made two saves to help Chelsea defeat Villarreal six goals to five. Chelsea will start their 2021-2022 English Premier League champion campaign against Crystal Palace on August 14. This is the news update from your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio, in association with Automatics Auto Care Limited, Agile Estate Branch, and Dependable Securities Limited. But before I go, a recap of the major stories. Cars 200 Naira SUVs 300 Naira Federal Government unveils new tolling policy Federal Government to leave Twitter ban soon says Lai Mohammed Federal Government denies relying on COVID-19 vaccines donation and in business, NGX records 142 billion Naira growth amid gains by Airtel and others. 20 Nigerian tailors picked for UX exchange program. Federal government made 472 billion Naira in three months taxing companies, says NBS. Fire destroys six shops in Ilori Plaza. And in sports, Chelsea defeat Villarreal to win UEFA Super Cup 2021. Enjoy the rest of the day. I am Otosi James Chuku, and you are listening to your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms. Follow us on Facebook and like our page at Broad Street Radio NG. Also follow the conversations on our Instagram at Broad Street Rad. You could also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Broad Street Radio NG. Check out our website at www.brushstreetradio.com for more information on business and the happenings in the world of economy. You could also send your comments and your opinions to our WhatsApp number, which is 0809-791-0074. 0809-791-0074. It's still Broad Street Radio, your number one business radio. Don't go anywhere. At 9.30 a.m., Eze will be in the studio for sports update. Enjoy the rest of the day.